Merry Ginger Miss 2020. Cheers, beer runners. I have a little bit of a special video for you today. I was not planning on recording this, but uh, on Friday, I saw Ginger Runners Merry Ginger Miss Scavenger Hunt Challenge and decided that would be a fun way to liven up my long run for this weekend. So I decided to give it a shot. Basically, if you're not familiar, I'll post the link down to the video below if you wanna check it out. But the idea is runners go out on their long runs uh, and you try to take pictures of various Christmas items, Christmas decorations, um, and a few other fun things thrown in there along your route to turn in for chances to win a number of prizes next week. We'll be going for about a two hour run, winding my way through the neighborhood, see if I can find some of the decorations on the list. Uh, and as long as the weather holds up, I will be taking you along for the run and getting some shots along the route as well. So looking forward to it. Like I said, just a fun way to uh, enjoy the long run this weekend uh, and looking forward to seeing what I can find. By the time you're watching this video, it will likely be Sunday, which means I am probably out currently or have already completed the Brain Freezer 5K. If you didn't see the video announcing that challenge, make sure to check that out. It is a 5k race where you eat an entire pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream halfway through. It is definitely going to be a rough run, but I could not be more excited to take on the challenge. So get excited. That video will be coming out next week, but hopefully this will tide you over till then. Off to a pretty good start. Found the first one just a block away from the apartment. So hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of the run. The first item on the scavenger hunt, Olaf. See what else we can find. We're only four and a half minutes into the run. I think I found the second item. You need a giant Christmas tree at least 20 feet tall. I think that should about do it. So I'm on the scavenger hunt. I was thinking about what the hardest things to find were gonna be. A dog made of lights seemed like it would be tough. You just don't see a lot of those. And Mrs. Claus. I've run past a ton of Santa Clauses, but no Mrs. Claus. And right as I was having that thought, we've got right there, dog made of lights. Right next to him, Mrs. Claus, a twofer right there. A few of the other things I think are gonna be tough out on this run, uh, a Christmas tree on top of a Christmas tree, a giant snow globe. I know those were hugely popular a while ago, but just don't see a lot of those anymore. A dog in a Christmas sweater, hopefully I'll catch someone out on their walk this afternoon. A dreidel, um, I know there's a house probably about five or six miles away from us that last year had a giant Hanukkah display on their front yard. So I'm hoping I can remember where that was and hopefully they went just as hard this year with their decorations. I'm in luck, only two miles away from the house. Boom, dreidel. So I don't have to trust my memory because there is slim to no chance <laughs> that I was gonna remember where that house was from last year. I'm also gonna start walking while I'm recording. I noticed it's probably pretty jostly if I'm running. Big goal of 2021 upgrade my action camera <laughs> so that I'm using something other than my phone to hopefully bring you a little bit more stabilized of an image um, so I can get more of these mid-run videos out to y'all. Another challenge I've noticed doing the scavenger hunt during the day, a lot of the inflatable Christmas decorations are not up. Hopefully I'll be able to count this Grinch even though he's laying on the ground, but I'm gonna try to find one that's up inflated. Another tough thing I got my eyes peeled out for, don't have a lot of hope for, is a Christmas palm tree. Um, I've seen a handful of those I feel like across the years, but not super common up north. What I have seen a lot of, a surprising number of, is Christmas flamingos. I don't remember ever seeing those in the past, but I've seen inflatable flamingos, those little plastic flamingos, but with Santa hats on, uh, people have definitely gotten more creative with their decorations. Move aside, Christmas flamingos, we have a new contender for weirdest Christmas decoration. Christmas unicorn inflatable. You can't see it, but his scarf or her scarf says Merry Christmas. I didn't think we were gonna make it happen, but there we go, boom, snow globe. First one sighted today. I also just have to say, this is a great way to spend a long run. My head is on a swivel just looking back and forth quickly, <laughs> trying to make sure I get every decoration I can find. Darting down side streets, trying to analyze every block as I run by, just making sure that I find as many things on this list I can so, as I can. So shout out to Ginger Runner for putting this together. This is a lot of fun. Also should mention, so I'm going out on this run. One of the items that you can use for the scavenger hunt is to fuel with five homemade cookies. Luckily for me, today is my wife's cookie day. So she's over at my in-law's house, her parents making, I don't know how many dozens and dozens and dozens of cookies. So I'm hoping to stop there, pick up some cookies, refuel, and keep going on this scavenger hunt. The Olaf count is probably at like 30 by now. 
easily the most popular Christmas decoration I've seen so far. Just stopped to get a picture of an even bigger snow globe, adding that to the collection. You can only get one point per item, but I think I'll definitely be using this larger one. I'm also glad that I've already found the dreidel because I'm 80% sure that this house behind me was the one that had all of the Hanukkah decorations last year. Not positive but I think so. I'd say I'm just about at the halfway point in this run. I wanna hit at least six miles before I turn around. I'm about an hour in with some of the stops. I'm also encouraging myself to go further than I originally planned because I'm really holding out hope for a couple items. One, would really like to find a living, fully inflated Grinch. Also, Buddy the Elf is on the list. Haven't seen any of those. Also don't see that as a super popular decoration item. One of the favorite Christmas movies, I think, but just not a common um, decoration that you see. So I'm holding out hope for that. And as difficult as I think it will be to find, I'm really hoping to find that Christmas palm tree. So fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. We've got our second Grinch sighting, but unfortunately he is also deflated. So fingers crossed on the back end of this run, we find another one. All right, there may not be anything in this yard worth any points, but I think you'll agree. This is clearly the best decorations overall we've seen so far, especially the theme. I mean, come on, incredible. Good work. One thing on the list I didn't know if I would get, because I didn't really know what would count, is a Griswold house. So I'm hoping that should do it, right? I mean, that's as close as you can get, right? Folks, we did it. We finally got one. Fully inflated Grinch. I was starting to lose hope after seeing so many deflated Grinches. Finally got the fully inflated one. Merry Christmas, you old Grinch. Now I think it's about time for that cookie pit stop. We're nine miles in, an hour and 26 minutes so far on this run. Time for the homemade cookie stop. My wife is busy at work making the next batch. Say hi to the lovely viewers. What do we got going on here? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, ooh. Woo! Some of my favorites. We got snickerdoodles over here, I think. Yeah. So, gonna load up five cookies to refuel for the run, knock that item off the list, and then I've got one more neighborhood, I think, and a couple side streets on the way back home, hopefully to snag a couple of those last minute items. I'm taking one of each kind of cookie. Peanut butter just came out of the oven. Sugar cookie, butter cookie, snickerdoodle, oatmeal cookie, peanut butter down the hatch to kick things off. Very hot, <laughs> very mushy. Is it good? I'm really good. <laughs> Best way to refuel on a Christmas run. Christmas scavenger hunt. <laughs> refuel with Christmas cookies. One down, four to go. Time to get back out there. And I'm coming back to a neighborhood. I don't think I've run in in probably over a year. Don't make it over to this side of town very often. But I remember it being pretty big on Christmas decorations. So I held this off until the end, hoping that it might be my secret weapon. But it's looking a little more dismal than usual. I think that's everything this year. But while we take a quick walk through the neighborhood, Time to snag another couple Christmas cookies. Gotta get through all five, right? Need those points. Also, as I'm about to eat this cookie, another Christmas unicorn. What is up with Christmas unicorns this year? Did I miss the memo? Oatmeal cookie. Mm. I don't care what anyone says about my mom makes the best cookies, my this makes the best cookies, my wife makes the best Christmas cookies. Prove me wrong. I don't even like oatmeal cookies, and this is incredible. Next up, we got the butter cookie. So close to Buddy the Elf. I mean, so close, right? Mm. I just love cookies. I'm worried about how this is going to feel running back home, but it's too good to worry about it. I woke up this morning thinking, you know what? I'll just go for like a quick 10-mile long run. And then I was like, you know what? I'm doing the scavenger hunt. Let's just bump it, and we'll make it in even two hours. I'm only an hour and 30 minutes run time into this run, but well over two hours so far when you take into account all the, the video time, taking pictures of the decorations and all that stuff. Actually, right about the two hour mark, but I mean, way to go, Ginger Runner, for convincing me to get out here way longer than I was anticipating and still having a blast. Got another one. That's a good looking Grinch right there. All right, honestly though, can someone tell me what the hell? is with the Christmas unicorns. If you know why there is an abundance of those decorations this year, please let me know in the comments below because I'm at a loss for where they came from and why there are so many. The last neighborhood wasn't what I wanted. At least I got another Grinch and a much better Mrs. Claus. Time for another cookie break before we make the final turns to head home. Throw down the sugar cookie first, followed by the snickerdoodle. Even out that five cookie. 
refuel bag. It's looking less and less likely, but I'm still holding out hope for at least the palm tree, the Christmas tree on a Christmas tree. Still not really sure what that means. Is it like an ornament on a Christmas tree ornament on a Christmas tree? Is it literally a smaller Christmas tree stacked on top of a larger Christmas tree? These are the important questions, but holding out hope for some of those last minute items. Honestly, just out here having a good time. Shut it down with the snickerdoodle. Also realizing on this run how difficult it is to actually stare at the camera instead of staring at myself on the phone screen. So apologies for breaking eye contact so many times. All right, last cookie down. Mm. Run and done. Couldn't make those last few items happen, but man, what a blast that was. Like I said, I only planned originally to go out for 10 miles, decided to keep extending, keep extending, keep extending, just because I wanted to get those last couple items. I knew there were some streets left to explore. Um, and just, I mean, this was just so much fun. Total run time was just under two hours, hour and 53 minutes. But I think I've been out of my apartment for the last like two and a half, maybe three hours even, um, just running around looking like a crazy person. But 12 miles done, just over 12 miles. So that's 12 additional points towards the scavenger hunt. So join me back home at the computer. We'll tally up the score. So I'm back at home about to do the recap, going through counting up all my points. I pulled up the ginger runners list and made a devastating realization. There is a rule for the race. You also can't take multiple photos of the same item for additional points. And the example that they give is you can't take 10 pictures of 10 Grinches for 10 points, but the Grinch isn't actually on the list. I spent so much time hunting for a Grinch decoration and I found several, but those are unfortunately worth no points, which I'm realizing now. But now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the full count of all of the points that I did receive for things that were actually on the list. It is time to tally up the total points that we got. I've got the list pulled up here. There are different point values for the different types of items. So we'll start with the one points. Griswold house, I'm hoping that counts. Obviously not the real Griswold house, but a Griswold family decoration. So we'll see what we get. That's worth one point. Olaf, another point right there. Dog made of lights. Again, it was a wicker dog with lights around it. So I'm going to hope that counts and the lights weren't on, but hopefully that doesn't count against me. And a giant snow globe. So that's four points right there. Moving on to the two pointers. Christmas tree on a tr Christmas tree. Didn't get that one. Dreidel we got. So we got two points there. Mrs. Claus we got. So two points there. Real snowball. Not cold enough here to get that one, unfortunately. And Buddy the Elf also. As hard as we tried, couldn't find that decoration. Moving on to the three points category. Christmas palm tree, another one I was really hoping for, but just couldn't make happen. Doggy in a Christmas sweater. Saw lots of dogs out on walks, but again, just not cold enough, I think, yet for that. Super tall Christmas tree we did get, so there's three points right there. Bringing our total up to 11. A little slow on the math there. Now we get into the bonus points category, and this is one I'm hoping I can rack up quite a few points in. First off, fuel with five holiday cookies. We got that. That's worth five additional points. Run in a holiday sweater, way too warm to do that. Now, I am planning to earn an additional two points by donating an old pair of running shoes. You get two points for each pair you donate. I've actually donated a lot of my shoes recently, so I don't think I have too many, but I have at least one, maybe two pairs I can part with. So I'm gonna rack up some extra points there. We'll just say two points for now. Donate any amount to a cause of your choice. That is an additional five points. I'm gonna go ahead and donate to the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition. That is a charity that is very near and dear to my heart as well as my family's heart. So I'll be donating to that for an additional five points. But then another big one, one point per mile you ran, rounded down to the nearest mile. So I was just over 12 miles. So that's an additional 12 points right there. Bringing our total to 35 points. I feel pretty good about that. Um, we'll just have to see if it pays off. I believe uh, Ginger Runner is going to be doing a live stream this coming week to announce the prizes. So looking forward to tuning in for that. But I just had a lot of fun getting out there, going for this run. Um, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought. I just thought it'd be a fun thing to add to the run, but this really became the purpose of the run. Again, I was darting down side streets, head on a swivel, making sure I caught every Christmas decoration I could find. Um, that was honestly just a ton of fun. So thanks Ginger Runner for sponsoring the event. Looking forward to the recap and the live event announcing all the prizes and everything. So thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, taking you along for the run, let me know. I haven't done that a lot in the past, um, but hoping to maybe incorporate some more in the future. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you want to see more of. If this is your first time here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it all the way to the end, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure to give the video a thumbs 
up to help some other people find it as well. But I hope you enjoy your weekend's long run, and I will see you next week with more videos. Merry Christmas from the I Run On Beer crew, and I will see you next time. Cheers.